Hey, my friends, Mike here again, and today we're going to talk about setting up a wildcard domain for your Coolify, so that way you can just keep creating subdomains without having to set up them individually in your DNS, so if you have dot site dot whatever your website is, you know, this way, if you use an asterisk, asterisk in your DNS, which I'll show you how to do, don't worry, um, then you can just keep creating new projects without having to worry about creating new subdomains for every single project. So the first thing you need to do is go to your, your server here and somewhere in your server, you will see your public IP and obviously mine's blocked right here, but you get the point. Um, I am using Hetzner, but any of any place where you have your VPS set up, you should be able to see this. So just get your public IP. And then you're going to go to wherever your domain name is. Now, I'm in Namecheap for mine, but you just want to go to your advanced domains and go to your records here. Then obviously you're just going to have an at record at your, your, uh, your IP, you know, so just have your at record at your IP and then have this asterisk or star here, which is just shift eight or yeah, it's shift eight on your keyboard have it with your domain, and then also change your TTL to one minute. Um, don't leave it on automatic. So this is like a, an automatic thing, but I would just put it on one minute. That way it's always refreshing correctly. And then you wanna go to your Coolify dashboard here. So when you're on your dashboard, you are then gonna go to uh, servers, click on your local host, and now in here, you set up your wildcard domain. So set this up with your actual domain, your whole domain. Okay. But if I hover over this, you can see that it says a wildcard domain allows you to receive randomly generated dom domain names for your new applications. So that's what makes this really cool. So you put your main domain right here. And after you save that, so now when you go to your projects and you create a new project, you know, now you can set up with a custom domain or you can just use a random domain like I do a lot of times for testing because then, you know, that way you can just keep changing the domain names. You don't have to keep changing your DNS server every five minutes. So that's all I got for you today. I hope that was informative. Let me know if you have any questions. See you again.